hey guys it's dandy so today i wanted to finally do a um camera tour i guess like my cameras um and some of my my whoa <laughs> like my different cameras and some of my favorite pictures i've taken with them um if you hear snorting or licking or lip smacking he is right here um and he's very loud <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and apologize for any noise he makes. So my cameras are right here behind me. I have 10 cameras total, um, excluding my phone. Um, and I just figured I'd take you through um, what kind of camera they are, uh, where they're from, and um, some of my favorite pictures. So, yeah. Also unrelated, I recently moved my Transformers up there <laughs> and i just need to show them off thank you for looking okay we're gonna start with the first camera that i still have um that i ever got so this is a canon eos rebel t100 or it's a 4000d i think is another name for it um i got this for christmas one year um i did have a second lens for it but i sold it uh, to help go towards one of my other lenses. <laughs> um, but I do still have this lens for it. It is a 55 to 250 millimeter lens. It does a lot of good for me. I took this one to Savannah with me uh, a couple years ago. This one means a lot to me. It has a lot of sentimental value. When I first started getting into photography, um, and I, I had been gifted a Nikon point-and-shoot camera um, and then this was my first step up to an interchangeable lens um, so it means a lot to me that I, I that I I was gifted this for Christmas uh, so I f got started really with um, any kind of photography that I do with this camera so it's my baby <laughs> even if there's better Canon cameras out there now this one is still is still my OG you know <laughs> Okay, sticking with interchangeable lens digital cameras, um, this is not a DSLR, it's a mirrorless camera, which honestly, I almost like a little better. Um, this is an Olympus Pen EPL9. Um, I actually bought this one because one of my favorite uh, YouTubers, or like influencers, I guess, um, uses this one and she takes gorgeous, gorgeous photos. Um, I don't know if she ta if she uses this one anymore, but it is the reason I bought this one to begin with. I'm sorry, my dog is being so loud. So yeah, this is the first camera I actually saved up and bought with my own money after I got my first job. Um, and I have two lenses for it. I've got this pancake lens. It is a 14 to 42 millimeter lens. And then I've also got this zoom lens. It's I think 50 to 40 to 150. Um, so both of these are really awesome. I've used them a lot. I honestly use this camera more than I use my uh, Canon camera, my DSLR. Um, and honestly, I would be recording my videos <laughs> with this one if I didn't edit in CapCut on my phone and it wasn't such a pain to get large videos from this camera to my phone. Um, plus, the only way to record and see what you're doing on this one, this is my one complaint. The screen flips down, so if it's on a tripod, good luck. You just gotta guess. Um, I would like uh, eventually a good actual like vlogging camera. This one I mostly just use for photos. Um, sometimes I'll record with this one if I'm like going on a trip, like my uh, camping video a couple months ago. Um, a lot of those shots were on this camera. So I'm gonna throw up some pictures uh, that I've taken that I really like with this one. Um, I've taken more photos with this one that I like out of pretty much most of my cameras, so I like this one a lot. <laughs> We're taking a small break. He's freaking out because there's a cat outside and he can see him in the window. And if you can also hear, I don't know, um, my other dog is outside barking at the cat too, so 
oh yeah he <laughs> i gotta show you he sits on my hip like a toddler and this is the way he likes to sit are you okay okay to keep things somewhat organized i'm gonna do my other digital cameras now before i move on to my film cameras um so my other digital cameras that i own are actually like old school like point and shoot digi cams um they're getting a little bit more popular now, which is really cool because I love old CCD sensors in these kind of cameras, which CCD sensors are just, in the easiest way for me to explain, um, they're not as, obviously not as like powerful as sensors that are made now. Um, there's just, it adds that little bit of, when you look at like an old photo of yourself or of that you took um, years ago, it looks different than like recent digital cameras look i don't know how to explain it <laughs> i'll put up a definition how about that um for someone that really likes photography and is super into photography um i kind of know what i'm talking about but if you ask for specifics i'm gonna be a little stuck sometimes <laughs> but okay so this one is a canon power shot a2300 um this was actually a family camera my parents had one and my grandparents had one so we had two um my dad broke ours <laughs> uh and so this one was given to me by my grandparents um and so this one's been in the family for a long time and i've recently found it again and i've been using it again and i have been taking a lot of pictures of it um this one is just so nice because look how tiny it is. It can just fit into your pocket. You can take it literally anywhere. It's got a wrist strap. Obviously, I put a dinosaur on it. Um, so yeah, I'll just throw up some of my favorite pictures that I've taken with this one now. For my other Digicam, this is a Sony Cybershot. Right, so the Sony's are the cyber shots. Yes. Um, this one is a DSC S40. Um, this one's harder to remember. Um, but I got this one actually a year or so ago. I put a really cool sticker on it. Um, this one was not in the family. I bought this one on eBay for like $10, I think. Um, this one has 4.1 megapixels. So this one also looks really cool. Um, another cool thing about this one is that it doesn't use an SD card, it uses this memory stick. Old school. Um, <laughs> so this one's really fun to use. I took this one to Gatlinburg um, last year on that trip and uh, I took some really cool photos there so I'll put those up too. Um, I haven't used this one quite as much as some of my other ones. Um, but I do love it a lot, so <laughs> it's also one that's really small. It's a little bit wider in comparison to the Canon one, but they're both so small you can just put them in your pocket or something, so um, I usually always try to have one on me. Okay. So as any photographer does, um, eventually I got super interested in film and I wanted to shoot a lot of film. And do you have any idea how expensive film is right now? It's crazy. Very stupid of me, but it's a lot of fun. Um, my first film camera was, well, I guess not my first because as a small child growing up in the early 2000s, I had a <laughs> pink Disney princess. Uh, film camera that I used so if I have any pictures of that still I'll throw them up but I can't promise that I do um <laughs> so my first film camera as a cognitive adult <laughs> um is this one it is a Kodak something Kodak M35 a Kodak M35 I actually made a whole video about this one it's on my channel so I should know this one <laughs> Um, I guess technically it's not my first. I, I used, I'll, I'll show you in a minute, but this is my first that I own myself. Um, it is, it works pretty much like a point and shoot disposable film camera, except you can reload it and you don't have to throw it away. Um, and I did a whole video about this one, if you're interested, um, where I explain how to use it and 
stuff like that. I, I'll throw up some pictures I took with this one. This one's cool because it's small and plastic and you don't have to worry about dropping it and breaking it and killing it. Um, <laughs> so I took this one to Universal with me and I take it to other places with me as well. Um, the color is a little bright. Oh, it's literally right there. M35. At least I was right. Um, so the color is a little bright. I don't know if it picks up that well on camera. Um, I like pink. I love pink. It's one of my favorite colors. Um, this is a very bright pink plastic. Um, so I want to decorate this one. I'm just scared. <laughs> but yeah, I'll throw up some of my favorite um, scans that I've got back from this camera now. Okay, now for the, what is it, the creme de la creme, is that right, of my film cameras. This one was my grandfather's in the 70s. Um, this is an Olympus OM-2. I am so scared to take this one anywhere. I've taken it on maybe two hikes with me. Um, so it doesn't actually get a lot of use out of it, but I have taken some really cool cameras, uh, really cool cameras, but I have taken some really cool uh, pictures with this one that I'll throw up. Um... I don't know a ton about the history of this one, except that my grandpa took it everywhere um, when my parents were little. And this is actually the strap that he had too. So technically this one isn't completely mine yet. Um, I don't want to think of the time that it is completely mine because that means um, something bad happens to my grandpa. But he says uh, I could borrow it for a while. <laughs> and he's just let me keep it up here, even though it's technically still his. Um, but it's cool because then I can go take my photos down to show him uh, what I took with his camera. Um, so it, this one is also just really sentimental to me on top of being just a really cool camera. Um, it's got some weight to it because um, the 70s is when people were still making things for quality and not quantity. Um, <laughs> so it's got, it's metal. It's all metal. It's, it's awesome. I love this thing. I do have another lens for it. It stays in this case that my grandpa gave me. Um, I'll show it to you though. I think I've used this one maybe twice to take pictures of moths and stuff. Um, let's see. It's a Zuiko lens, which is the same kind that I use on my Olympus digital camera, which is really cool um, because I mean, it just, it's just cool to see the, the, the evolution, I guess, of camera technology. Um, 200 millimeters. I guess. I'm still not super well versed in the film camera lingo. I just think it's fun. It says 200 millimeters though. Last but not least is uh, this film camera. That was my mom's actually. Um, she did give me this one. Um, I've never used it. It's on the list to use, so I don't have any pictures to show you from this one. Um, but I just wanted to show it to you anyway. This is a Canon EOS Ripple X, or I guess 10. Um, it looks, yeah, it, the lens is interchangeable. On it now is a 35 to 80 millimeter lens. Um, the reason I haven't used this one yet is for two reasons. First reason, when my mom gave me this one, I still had half a roll of film in one of my film cameras and almost a full roll in the other one. <laughs> so I didn't want to open up another roll yet. Um, another reason I haven't used this one yet is because, I don't know if you can see, the batteries that this camera takes are some fuck ass batteries that I've never seen before in my life. Um, so I'll have to order them and they're probably expensive. I think last time I checked, they were a little expensive. So, <laughs> uh, when I order batteries for this camera, I want to make sure I have a good plan for what I'm going to use the film on. Um, I would like to do like, I guess a photo project where I take kind of like similar pictures that could go like in the same series, I guess that would be cool. Um, if I wanna like take photography a little more seriously, that would be cool. Um, but yeah, here's that one. <laughs> no pictures to show, sorry. Um, some honorable mentions. Um, I didn't get them down. Th this is an Instax Polaroid. I don't think I've ever done any serious photography on that. I haven't touched it in forever. 
the reason okay mixed mixed feelings about the instax polaroid camera it's very cool it is so clunky if i want to take any of my other cameras with me this one can't go because it's huge and i only have so much room so that one doesn't get taken especially especially since i have this now because this can just print any type of photo on on the same kind of paper which takes a little bit of, of the fun out of it i know but um if i'm going somewhere i'm gonna want to take my more serious cameras i guess um and this produces almost the same quality it's just not as spontaneous i guess and then the other one this one is a bell and howell camera 252 i don't know anything about that one it's just cool uh my one of my very very good friends gave it to me um the story behind it's a little sad, so I don't want to get into it, but it's cool. I need to do more research on it, though, because I don't even know if it still works, how to work it, what it takes, what it does. Um, but it sure is cool, huh? Um, and last but not least is this guy. He is my camcorder. I did a whole vlog with this one on uh, when I went to Gatlinburg last year. This is a Sony Handycam DCR-SX45. Um... I love this guy. It's really cool. Um, I recorded a bear on it last year, but I was so excited. I was like this, and then I lost it for a second. And then I went like this, and then my dad drove the car, and then I got barely a glimpse of the bear. Um, but I did get a bear on it, which is cool. Um, so I don't take actual photos with this one. I just wanted to show it to you because it is one of my cameras. Um, and it's cool. Plus it makes me feel like I'm in a Slenderverse ARG <laughs> when I use it. And that makes me feel happy, so... <laughs>